Good morning students, welcome to the analysis classes. Today we are going to discuss the assignment of 9th class under the topic center of mass and collisions. Let us see the first question here. A bomb of mass m at rest at a coordinate origin explodes into three equal pieces. At a certain instant, one piece is on x axis at x equal to 40 centimeters and another is at x equal to 20 centimeters and y is equal to minus 60 centimeters. The position of third piece is what? Okay. Now what they say, a bomb of mass m explodes into three equal parts, right? So three equal parts, that is m1 is equals to m2 is equals to m3 which is equals to m by 3, right? Because the total mass is m, so three equal parts, m by 3, right? And uh, x1 is equals to one piece is on x-axis itself only, so x1 is equals to 40 centimeters and y1 will be equal to 0, right? And another x2 is equals to 20 centimeters and y2 is equals to minus 60 centimeters. The position of third piece, that is we have to find x3 and y3. Now they have said that the mass coordinates at origin, that is xcom is equals to 0 and ycom is also equals to 0 because the bomb is at origin, right? Now, let us solve the problem here. So first let us find xcom based on that equation, right? So xcom is equals to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 by m1 plus m2 plus m3. Okay? Now as x is 0, 0 is equals to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 by m1 plus m2 plus m3. So this total will be multiplied with that, it will, it will also equal to 0. Right? So finally we will get m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 is equals to 0. Substitute the values of m1, m2 and uh, m3s. Right? Okay? So m1 is equals to m by 3 only. So m by 3 x1 is 40 plus m by 3 into 20 plus m by 3 into x3 what we have to find is equals to 0. So when you take m common here, right, and uh, m by 3 common that is 40 plus 20 plus x3 equal to 0. Now m by 3 cannot be equal to 0, so here we take 40 plus x3 plus 20 is equal to 0. So 40 plus 20 plus x3 is equal to 0. So x3 will be equal to minus 40 minus 20 which is equal to minus 60 centimeters. So we got x3 is equal to minus 60 centimeters and when you continue with the same thing we will get y3 as right y3 as plus 60 centimeters, okay, right? So here we will get the equation of 0 minus 60 plus y3 is equals to 0. So y3 will be equal to 60 centimeters. So x3 and y3 are minus 60 and 60 centimeters, okay, right? Now, let us come to the second question here. A dog weighing 5 kg is standing on a flat boat so that it is 10 meters from the shore. It walks 4 meters on the boat towards the shore and then halts. The boat weighs 20 kg and no one can one can assume that there is no friction between it and water. The dog from the shore at the end of this time is okay. Now here let the uh, 
the board with respect to earth right so the distance of board with respect to our relative distances between the board and the earth is r board is equals to x let us say the board is moving x okay right then the dog moves 4 minus x and because it is all towards moving towards 4 meters towards shore. Okay, right? And uh, mass of the boat is 5 kgs. Sorry, mass of the boat is 20 kgs. And mass of the dog is 5 kgs. Right? Now, if we assume that the center of mass is at origin, then mass of board into position of board should be equal to mass of dog into position of dog. That is 20 into x should be equal to 5 into 4 minus x. 20x is equal to 20 minus 5x. 20x plus 5x is equals to 20. 25x is equals to 20. x is equals to 20 by 25, which is equals to 4 by 5, or which is equals to 0.8 meters. Right? Now the dog from the shore. Right? So here, the dog initially board was at 10 centimeters, 10 meters and dog moved 4 meters so now the distance of dog from the shore is 10 minus 4 plus this x 0.8 that is 6 plus 0.8 is equals to 6.8 meters so the dog is at a distance of 6.8 meters from the shore right now let us get into the third question the board of uh, with 500 kgs and 9 meter long is floating. So mass of the board is equals to 500 kgs. Right? The length is 9 meters long. And uh, mass of man is equals to 100 kgs. Right? Now here we need to find the position of board. Let us say this is x and the man moves the total right board backwards that is uh, what is the changing position of the board right how much the board moves and the position of the man is already it has moved 9 meters along the shore so 9 minus x okay right so here if the center of mass is uh, stable then again MB RB should be equal to MM R that is 500x should be equal to 100 into 9 minus x 500x is equal to 900 minus 100x now 500x plus 100x is equal to 900 now 600 x is equal to 900 x equal to 900 by 600 3 2 za, 3 3 za. so x is equal to 3 by 2 or x is equal to 1.5 meters ok so the board moves backwards how much the board moves backwards is 1.5 meters right let us go with the fourth question Three particles of mass 10 kg, 20 kg, 30 kg. 30 kg and 20 kg are moving with 6i, 4j and 9k meters per second respectively. The velocity of center of mass, right? Now m1 is equals to 10 kg, m2 is equals to 30 kg, m3 is equals to 20 kg, v1 equal to 6i, v2 equal to 4j and uh, V3 equal to 9k now Vcom 
is equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 plus m3 v3 by m1 plus m2 plus m3. Now we see here what is m1 10? 10 into 6i plus 30 into 4j plus 20 into 9k by 10 plus 30 plus 20. So 10 into 6 is 60i plus 3 into 4 is 120j plus 180k by 60 plus 3c. Now VCOM is equal to 60 by 60i 120j by 60 plus 180k by 60. Anza, twoza, threeza. So VCOM is equal to 1i plus 2j plus 3. Okay? VCOM is equal to 1i plus 2j plus 3. Right? So this is our assignment for this week students. We will meet in the next session. Thank you.